This paper-thin laptop might have the APU of your next gaming handheld. That's right. AMD's new AI300 processors are rolling out to bring both the Zen 5 and RDNA 3.5 architectures to your next laptop. Hi, hello there, I'm Kyler, and today we're taking our first look at these new chips with ASUS's new 2024 ZenBook S16, which comes equipped with the Ryzen AI 9 365, and more importantly for us gamers, the new 880M RDNA 3.5 iGPU. We'll have a dedicated review of the ZenBook out later, but for now we want to get right down to brass tacks with gaming performance, which will give a nice preview of how future handhelds might perform. We'll also be taking a look at its bigger brother, the Ryzen AI HX370 with its 890M in a future video to compare the two. Keep an eye out for that, unless you're scared. What are you scared? So, the RDNA 3.5 based Radeon 880M found in this chip has 12 compute units at up to 2.9 gigahertz, which is nearly identical to the 780M on paper, just with a slightly higher boost clock speed in newer architecture. Now, this is an and ultra thin laptop. So its default TDP is just 17 watts to keep things cool in such a well thin form factor. Look at this thing, it's a skinny legend. These 17 watts can however be bumped up to 28 watts by changing the fan profile to performance mode. This will be perfect for us to get an idea of what a handheld might perform like with this chip. And just like a handheld or console, these APUs have no dedicated video memory. Instead, the CPU and GPU share one pool of RAM. This is fine, we just need to configure how much is solely allocated to the GPU so that games will properly load assets. This can be done in UEFI, or since it's an ASUS device, we can use the My ASUS app to change it to exactly what we need. Since this laptop has 24 gigabytes of total memory, we can go ahead and allocate a whole 8 gigs to the iGPU. Because the CPU and GPU still share this pool of memory, the fixed amount of bandwidth must also be shared. This has been one of the major hurdles for integrated graphics. Luckily, this laptop does feature some fairly speedy RAM that's on par with the ROG Ally X clocked at 7500 megatransfers per second. Once again, this allows us to get a really nice glimpse into what future handhelds on RDNA 3.5 might perform like. And also, the display is in the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which in my opinion is the only correct aspect ratio for a laptop. Like 16 by 9, just it looks weird to me these days. Am I crazy? Is, is that weird? Is that weird? It's horrible. Anyway, we decided not to test in 16 by 9 since the former is becoming more of the norm for laptops and even the Steam Deck. All right, enough with the explaining. Here's how things went down. Starting with 3D Mark Time Spy, we can see the 17 watt mode really chokes the 880M. Jumping up to 28 watts nets not only a 70% boost to the graphics score, but also a 10% lead over the ROG Ally. And while those numbers are cool in theory, it's not an actual practical measurement of gaming performance. But at 17 watts, we can push GTA 5 over 80 FPS at 800p high settings. And those same settings at 28 watts allow the system to push to 111 FPS. But what's even more impressive is that we were able to crank the resolution up to 1200p and still maintain nearly 90 fps on average in performance mode let that sink in 90 frames 1200p and gta 5 on something thinner than a half pound stack of deli meat that's better than ps4 pro levels of gaming capability and that thing's got to be at least as thick as two pounds of black forest ham in counter-strike we see the 880m reaching 100 fps at 1000p with the medium preset at 17 watts performance starts getting a little wonky for the 28 watt mode though if neither the cpu or gpu are hit with a high enough load with the way the integrated power profiles work it'll actually limit its tdp to below the 17 watt mode you can see that it's dropping down to about 15 watts making the fps tank pretty hard Drop into the low preset seemed to put enough load onto the CPU to make it boost to a higher TDP, but after running it again, it fell back down to 15 watts. We did manage to get a couple runs with a stable 28 watts, so you can see those here. Of course, when the 28 watt mode runs properly, performance is great, but after going through the Counter-Strike 2 benchmark a handful of times, I can tell you only two things are certain. Jagged Little Pill was the greatest album to come out of 1995, and that this thing is all over the place in Counter-Strike. Let me let you in on a little secret though. There's even a profile above the 28 watt performance mode that still runs at 28 watts, but it's called full speed mode. And that has a description that says, run at full speed and enjoy the ultimate performance experience. Yeah, that's a load of boar's head baloney. It throttles the same as performance mode from what we tested at least, and it's not clear what the full speed mode even does. Maybe it's the fan speeds, maybe it's something else, but it didn't seem to really change 
anything observable at least. All updates, including the newest BIOS, were installed as of July 30th. This is early August while we're filming, so we're just going to sit back and hope ASUS has a fix for this in the future. To be fair, it's not marketed as a gaming laptop, so maybe I'm being too harsh. My gamer brain just needs consistency, I guess. But on the bright side, at least, this is the only game that we experience this in. Cyberpunk 2077 runs nicely in both 17 and 28 watt power profiles, but the 28 watt mode sees a healthy 50 or so percent jump to performance, with most of that going to those precious 1% and 0.1% lows. Similarly, Borderlands 3 sees another 50% boost for the performance mode, but even the lower watt mode's still really playable. We decided to retest the 28 watt mode at 1000 1000p medium settings and saw that the 880M can still maintain a 60 FPS average. Again, better than what you'd experience on a PS4 Pro. No Man's Sky seems a bit more CPU bound, so there only ends up being a 12% difference between the two modes. But the last few games are a scooch heavier, and we only tested the higher 28 watt mode. Baldur's Gate 3 performs pretty decently at 1000p low with FSR balance turned on, getting just shy of 50 FPS on average. It does stutter a bit, but it's probably better than you'd expect if if you've played this game on other iGPUs. Helldivers 2 ran like a dream, at least compared to my experience playing it on the ROG Ally. The 880M hits a 75 FPS on average at 28 watts and low graphics preset at 1000p and FSR set to quality. Frame time performance is the best yet too, staying at above 60 FPS pretty much the entire time I played. Overall, performance is pretty solid on this new Strix Point chip. At the moment, my problem is the pricing, as the cheapest Ryzen AI 300 laptop I can find is the Asus VivoBook S14, which retails for 1200 US dollars. This ZenBook S16 is 200 more at 1400, which I'm not really thrilled about, and I'm not getting too excited until I see some sub $1000 devices with this kind of mustard inside, you know what I'm saying? Especially and I said it a bunch of times, the next generation of handhelds. I could even see the next Steam Deck making use of those extra efficient Zen 5C cores to build a custom chip geared towards gaming. Something with fewer cores could maybe save some precious energy to instead be sent to the GPU and allow for a lower power target in the same performance in games. It could be enough to provide a generational increase worth upgrading to for a lot of people. I've been Kyler, follow me on Twitch and tell your dad I said hi. Hey. It's future me here to tell you about today's video sponsor, me. Well, my Twitch channel at least, twitch.tv slash kswizzles. Hear me out, I've been live on Twitch right alongside the big man and no, I didn't do anything weird to him, he is perfectly safe. But I do all this streaming and a lot of you don't realize I got my own personal channel too. It's a running joke in our little community that me and our marketing slash professional drawer Michael aka Foggy Jim will do some version of a hot tub stream if and when I hit 500 followers. Again, over at twitch.tv slash kswizzles. That's K-A-Y-S-W-I-Z-Z-L-E-S. -Z -Z -E oh, and I also rarely stream just as a heads up in advance, but the, the hot tub thing is very real. Tell them, tell them Rita. This is Rita. Say hi, Rita. She weighs one and a half pounds.